to prevent colon cancer, it's essential to detect the forerunners of cancer. Uh, for colon cancer, those forerunners are uh, commonly the so-called adenomatous polyp. Uh, we've learned <coughs> very recently and appreciated increasingly that there's another type of forerunner, and uh, that is called a serrated polyp. Uh, these uh, historically have been ignored uh, or excluded in, as screening targets, but we've learned that uh, uh, not only are they an important a forerunner of, of cancer, but they actually may be a more aggressive form than the uh, conventional adenomatous polyp. Uh, we, we took for the first time uh, a group of patients that uh, had these uh, serrated polyps, and uh, we knew that they had it based on a, a colonoscopy demonstrating this. <clears throat> and we had stools from those patients before the colonoscopy was performed. On the same patients, we had uh, fecal blood test results, uh, which is the common uh, non-invasive test that is used <clears throat> and has been used for many years for colon cancer screening. <clears throat> Our results showed that uh, uh, the stool DNA test, uh, which measures a, uh, a gene change uh, in the stool uh, that comes from these precursor uh, lesions, uh, was positive in 71% uh, of these uh, lesions. Uh, in contrast, the fecal blood tests were positive in only 7% of the time. That was a remarkable and highly statistically significant difference. 7% uh, with fecal blood test results versus 71% with uh, the stool DNA test. Uh, these are, are <coughs> very important lesions for a number of reasons. <clears throat> One, as I mentioned, we're, we've just appreciated recently uh, as a profession that they're an important uh, forerunner, but also they occur primarily on the right side of the colon, and we've learned that colonoscopy has not been very good at detecting right-sided lesions uh, and uh, or preventing cancer on the right side. So it may well be that this is a missing link, and uh, it raises the uh, possible scenario of using a stool DNA test to complement colonoscopy and thereby improve the uh, effectiveness of the screening intervention. I think the, the stool DNA test could well be a standalone test as a frontline screening test, and the patient would then have a, a colonoscopy if the test was positive. So. They, it, they would be linked in that way. Uh, it is possible also for patients who are currently undergoing colonoscopy uh, often every 10 years. It may be in those patients that a 10-year interval is too infrequent. It, it would allow these, these right-sided lesions to emerge between the intervals, and uh, there may be a role to do a stool DNA test between scheduled Ten-year, every ten-year colonoscopy. So, in that way, it would be a direct uh, complement or supplement to colonoscopy. There were two studies this past year that demonstrated that one out of Canada and one out of Germany that colonoscopy done every ten years does a very good job at reducing colon cancer mortality and incidence of left-sided colon colon cancers. But not only did colonoscopy not have a very strong effect on the right side, it had no effect. It, uh, colonoscopy screening did not reduce the mortality of colon cancer from right side at all, or the incidence of cancer from the right side. And, uh, you know, it may be because the, the colonoscopy as we do it currently misses these, uh, these flat precursor lesions, these serrated polyps are, are kind of inconspicuous endoscopically. And uh, so if, if the endoscopist knew that the, a stool test was positive and these lesions occur predominantly on the right side, there would be a way to really focus uh, very rigorously on that. And again, every 10 years may be too infrequent. Uh, these things may emerge and grow between uh, regular uh, colonoscopy scheduled uh, screens. So that those, these, these algorithms, clinical, uh, management pathways 
need to evolve and be looked at carefully, but uh, this new test uh, offers that, that uh, possibility. And I might also say that uh, currently uh, over half of all colon cancers are on the right side, and that proportion is increasing. Uh, so it, it becomes uh, 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 even more important to detect these lesions.